नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिक्स क्लास ऑफ आवर नीट बायोलॉजी क्लास टारगेट 2020 फॉर क्लास 11 आल्सो हु आर द हु हैव टेकन न्यू एंट्री इन दिस ईयर इन क्लास 11 एंड चूज्ड साइंस एंड बायोलॉजी एज देयर टारगेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द आर्थ्रोपोडंस the largest phylum of the universe the largest number of species present in this phylum so this is the arthropoda the insects beetles mm. uh these are the different however the different traits of these arthropodans are let's see this is actually filled the board is not big and lots of information is the largest phylum a largest criterions are there so what happened here the traits first it's the triploblastic body that is body is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm with true coelom is there bilaterally symmetrical their symmetry is bilateral not only that their body is segmented and body is covered with a special structure called chitin it's a chitin made structure the cuticle the outer covering is a hard and cuticle made uh, chitin made cuticle chitin is made up of n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine it's a chitin is actually a polymer n acetyl glucosamine is its subunits so most important thing is the chitin is present in insect as well as it also present in fungus in fungi the cell wall component is chitin so there is a distant relationship in plant in animal the cell wall composition in plant fungi is chitin also here the outer covering of insects in arthropods are the chitin is a unique trait and it may be a hallmark trait also so this is made up cuticle each segment with paired joint locomotory organ in annelids we have encountered the locomotory organ or legs like structure but that were not joint here it is joint the locomotory organ is joint so why called joint legs arthropods arthro means joint podes means locomotory organs so arthropods are with joint leg body cavity is hemoshell and open circulatory system circulatory system is opened that is blood is present and is colorless with white blood cells so colorless blood are moving through the not blood vessels but hemocells so this is very important open circulatory system with hemocell largest phylum as i mentioned with highest number of species and they are diverse they are present in aquatic condition in land forms in marine in fresh water in free living condition as well as in parasitic condition so let's see they have also a special character that is social communication and social life as i know that as we know that honey bees these are uh, have a strong social correlation and social life so they are gregarians and some in some cases they are present in bunch or in groups as is uh, as i we have already uh, faced the problem in this year that locust attack in our crop fields so these are the very important that is the gregarians the term gregarians gregarians means the colonial with social life as well as a present in group so locust are the most group example and in social life example is how many social life example is present in it is honey bees exhibits parthenogenesis this is very important in this arthropods parthropods exhibit parthenogenesis that is eggs lying by the females not required to fertilize 
even if it is unfertilized condition, it is present in unfertilized condition, they also be developed as an individual, as a haploid individual. So, this is called parthenogenesis that is bypassing the sexual reproduction development of new individual bypassing the sexual reproduction from directly from egg that is female will lie egg and from egg directly the new organism will be developed. So, this is a parthenogenesis. Now, the arthropods are present also in fossilized condition. We have we have so many evidences about the fossil arthropods that is trilobites. So, tegmata, tegmata is another term that is the segments are present in grouped, grouped segments. So, these are the first level of traits and the second level of traits is that they have a strong sense organ. Their head region contains simple eye as well as compound eye. Compound eye contains so many small subunits of eye called omatida. Hmm? Simple eye, they have simple eye as well as compound eye and compound eye is made up of small units called omatida. Hmm? This is very important, not only the eye, they have antennae, they have cirri, they have statocyst, they have chemoreceptor, they have tactile receptors. So, so many receptors are there they are highly sensitive hmm? and this sense this sensitivity is required for their protection from the uh, predators so this is very important exoskeleton is said the exoskeleton we have i have already mentioned that exoskeleton is made up of chitin and this chitin made exoskeleton is said this setting phenomenon is known as ecdysis. This is very important. Omatida, the another term is important here. Ecdysis, the setting of outer covering exoskeleton made up of chitin at different age of the life cycle. So, this is very important. Digestion is totally extracellular, not intracellular. Respiratory organ has a diversity here. What diversity? The insects like mosquito, like cockroaches, they exhibit tracheal tubes as their respiratory organ. Crustaceans like prawns, they have gills, arachnids like spiders, they have book lung. King crabs, they have book gill. King crab are the limulus the living fossil. Not only that, sometimes cutaneous type of respiration are also there that is the respiration occurred by the surface, body surface. So, it is a different type of respiration, tracheal tube, gills, book lung, book gill and cutaneous type. So, this is very important. Now, no blood, as I mentioned that the blood have a no RBC is there with white blood cells but in this case it is not moving through blood vessels but through hemocell hemolymph the blood is called hemolymph not blood true blood hemolymph it's colorless it has a heart like structure the dorsal percentile mini chamber tubular heart is there that is heart is tubular present in dorsal that is towards the upper back region just below the back and is a mini chambered heart. So, this is very important. Now, they are ammonotelic as well as uric acid. Ammonotelic that is ammonia as well as uric acid as their when they are landform condition they are uric acid. So, these are important. Circumcentric with double solid mid ventral nerve cord. Circumcentric that is the nerve covering the total body surface circumcentric in a central manner with double solid and mid ventral nerve cord. So, hmm, their body or the dioecious that is no bisexuality is occurred here. All are unisexual male and female bodies totally different as well as huh, they are actually they have a gonads with ducts. So, this is a complexity that the gonads are present in separately as well as they have ducts. 
So this is very important. They are oviparous mostly. That is lying eggs, female lying eggs. But sometimes ovoviviparous. Ovoviviparous means females lying egg, but these eggs are not released from the body directly outside. These eggs remain within the female body, and that eggs are hatched within the body and after the hatching the baby will comes out from the mother body so mother's body female body so this is ovoviviparous most the scorpions are ovoviviparous so dioecious they have a gonads and ducts mainly oviparous that is lying eggs and eggs are hatched outside the body and babies are developed from the body but in some cases ovo bb period where the eggs remains inside the body cavity of the female partner and eggs are hatched by the female and the baby are released from the female body so this is very important sometimes ovo bb periods they also exhibit cannibalism cannibalism means they may kill the partner or these are so metamorphosis also occurred in the larva what kind of metamorphosis occur what are the different larvae larvae are caterpillar type caterpillar maggots regular grub hmm. now these are the very important excretory organ are very important here the excretory organ is coxal gland green gland malpighian tubule and coelomoduct here the parasitic conditions uh, very example is areolus is the parasites of fish gills so this so is a very important thing as that tadpole fish are known as triops lepisma are the silver fish these are the examples and eupagorus the hermit crab so this is the overall arthropods you have to take note important points and important terms and terminologies here thank you